Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. This is your first time here. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I am going to go over some of what's sold on eBay today. There is one pretty decent profit, over a $60 profit, and then there are some everyday sales that really do add up. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that and why I do choose to list those items, and I feel that it brings a lot of profit. We will discuss that a little more, and we will do this in just a second. All right, guys, so we actually have $250 going out today, and then I will put the sales that are selling and shipping out on Friday on here as well. So first up, we actually have a Detroit Zoo pennant and this is a vintage one i do like to pick up pennants whenever i see them they don't sell for a ton but it definitely adds up and this one sold for eight plus shipping the buyers 14 all in with these we just roll them up and then i have these 12 inch cardboard tubes i did actually buy these off of ebay my hair is all over everything and so this one will work for the pennant we also ship the paint brushes in it and they're about 50 cents each but if you're selling stuff that you would use these shipping like it's not a box but different shipping containers i would definitely pick some up because it makes your life a lot easier up next and this one's kind of funny and it sold in less than 12 hours and i will show you it <laughs> and it is a cloisonne hong kong piece i was thinking toothpick holder but it has no bottom so this reminded me of like the old lighter shapes i was thinking maybe this is like a tourist lighter cover or something i really don't know what this is so i listed it as hong kong lighter holder i put napkin ring i don't know what it is but it's sold in less than 12 hours for 20 dollars $20 for that little piece. I am about $5 into that in the shop Goodwill lot. I got a couple of other brass items that I felt will be really profitable. I listed it yesterday and it sold really quick. Up next is a plush. This is a really cute poo graduation plush. It's got the little cap and gown. It is, it doesn't even have a Disney store tag, so I'm not sure if it's a Disney store item or not, but I paid a dollar for this guy at the local thrift store. I pick up plush quite a bit. It can take space because they do take some time. That one took over six months to sell, but it sold for $17.49 plus shipping. The buyer is 27 all in, and we will make about a $14 profit. And for those plush, we typically will just put them into poly bags to ship them out. These two are in a lot and I have had them for actually probably close to two years. So they're these cute little wood turtles and they're not, you know, nothing special. They only sold for $4 plus shipping, but I got these in a big lot and this is when you get big lots, you have to kind of decide what you want to list. And if you don't, I just decided to list everything. I put the two together and it's about a $3 profit. It's really not much, but when you're already in the profit and lot, that is all profit and those aren't going to break. So I can wrap them in some bubble wrap, toss them in a little four by four box and they are done. So I do choose to list some of those lower price items. And the reason for that is something that has been very apparent the last two weeks and that is that you don't always have those high dollar sales <laughs> dalton is crawling around on the floor with the dogs around my feet so if i fall you know why um so we haven't had any high dollar sales well maybe a couple none over a hundred so all of these little even five, 10, 15, $20 sales add up. And we have 250 going out today, which is our average. So I am happy with that. And if I was only doing the higher priced items, it's very possible I wouldn't have any sales going out, which I do not want. So I'm happy with these small ones Next. adding up. These are some CE Smith workwear. They actually have a hole. And I, I of course did photograph that in the listing. I have several places that I can get jeans for a dollar. So like the workwear pants, Carhartt, Wrangler, 
things like that, I definitely pick those up because they can sell for 10 to 20 bucks and a dollar into $10 I am okay with. Those again, go into Polly's. I do flat lay my clothes. I will just like put them even like I could put them on a desk. I could put them anywhere and they are pretty easy to photograph that way. And these sold in about two months. So they did not take too long. Up next is this tapestry. This one is Goodwin Weavers. You can see there and this one, Try and show you. It says God created creatures big and small. It's got a poem on it. This one does have, sorry, I'm tripping over Dalton, some pulling, piling, whatever you want to call it. So this one just sold for eight plus shipping, buyers 18 all in. I got this in a big lot, so I'm less than a dollar in. That will still be about a six dollar profit, so I am okay with that. It's another golf club. So this is the authentic 50 series you see i have to hold this to show you guys um the authentic 50 series this one is oil hardened it is wood and it's louisville so <laughs> i don't know anything about golf clubs and I really am not too fond of photographing them. I will not lie. I know Julian and the Bearded Thrift Machine sells a lot. He likes listing them. I like that they sell, but I don't really like photographing them. But with not much selling right now, I kind of had to take a look around. I watched some other YouTubers to see what's selling for them. And then I try and find that because obviously my other stuff is not selling. So this one's over $75 plus shipping. Buyer is 103 all in. I paid less than five bucks for this. So it's over a $65 profit. And all I did was type in all the information there from the club. So that makes it pretty easy. And it sold in less than a week. So golf clubs can definitely be profitable i have now made over 200 dollars on the golf lot so i'm really happy with that up next <laughs> this is another one of the dvds this one is you've got mail sold for four plus shipping buyers eight in we'll make three bucks and three bucks three bucks three bucks adds up i am okay with front back poly mailer and off they go plus and i am okay with trying this one on this is a florida gator kind of like a train conductor hat I don't know. So there's that. I do work for the University of Florida at the hospital. This one I think was pretty new. Um, it doesn't look pretty new. So this one was pretty new and it did take about six months to sell. It sold for $8 plus shipping the buyers 12 all in. I paid a dollar. So it's a quick $6 profit. All right. We are going to go and take a look at what else. All right, guys. So I actually am adding on over $650 in eBay sales. It is a Friday. I'm getting ready to pack all of these up. Brad is out fishing. Dalton, my mom, myself, and my friend Lisa went out thrifting into an estate sale today. So I actually think I'm going to record an estate haul after I get all this stuff packed up and put that out for you guys on Sunday. So we got some pretty cool stuff. I'm going to show you a couple things I got for myself. They're not antique, but they're super cute. Dalton helped me pick them. We got this little owl with the succulent. So these are going to go on our desk. They're going to hang out with fish there. And then this little fox. So these are super cute fox. These are super cute. Um, they're 10 bucks. So we got two to put on the desk. So we'll have some plants in here, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and start and tell you what's sold. Also, we'll have you notice there's no Ethan Allen desk there anymore. Sold on Wednesday for $499. We paid $75 for that. And it sold in less than a month. And it was already delivered. It was delivered yesterday. So on UShip, it was actually a local driver who just did a quick run for me from here to Ormond Beach, which is where the desk went. And the buyer did pay the 150 in freight to him and it got there faster than priority, which is pretty cool. And I will say that driver did have negative feedback like the other ones, but I have learned that most of them do. So I'm taking a chance, but he came, picked it up the next day and delivered it Mama, in a few hours to her. Look. She was very happy. So that was over a $350 profit after fees. So 
shipping out today. The first is this little trivet, really cute. This one does say trademark on the back. I think this one is made in Japan. Paid a quarter for this at my little local flea market. Sold for $10.99 plus shipping the buyers $18 all in and i do want to point out uncle uncle sam uncle sam <laughs> toucan sam's auction ends tomorrow night so if you have not clicked the link to my ebay store which is in the description below definitely do that check that out that auction ends tomorrow night it is currently at 57 dollars plus shipping so if you're interested check it out so we also sold this little and this is a cheap pen this was in my rosary lot i bought but I just listed it for five bucks and actually sold in a couple days, which Father's Day is coming up and it's a little Father's Day pen. So that one sold for $5 and less than 50 cents and we'll make about a $4 profit. Up next is this a really cool little swan vase. And this one, I actually just listed this last week and it sold for $21.99 plus shipping. The buyer is 38 all in. I am less than a dollar in. This was in my buyout. So this will be about an $18 profit. Next is this Panama Jack towel. I'll back up so you guys can see it. It's pretty cool. Okay. So this is a not a vintage towel. I found out it was from 2012, but I got it at Goodwill for $2. There's a the blue tag. I'm going to take it off now. And it sold for $16 plus shipping. The buyer's $26 all in and will make about a $13 profit on this towel. So if you see towels that catch your eye while you're out, I would definitely check them out. There were no other ones like that listed, but I know vintage Panama Jack does good. And even though that wasn't vintage, it's sold in less than a month. Up next, so I've had these star magazines listed, but another one, wrong way. This one sold for $7.49 plus shipping. The buyer is $11.49 all in. That is actually Priscilla Presley on the cover there. So this is another Elvis one. We will make about a $5 profit. Next. This sold over on Mercari. This is another item I just listed this week and it sold less than two days on Mercari for $15 plus shipping. Really pretty cobalt blue glass with the roses there. And that was for my buyout as well. So I'm starting to go through the buyout stuff and get it listed that came from Thini. And we will make about a $12 profit on then this guy. So I had him hanging up on my desk because I thought he was so cool. It's like an art glass owl. And he was actually at my little local thrift store hanging on the jewelry rack for $2.99. So for $22 over on Mercari, we're gonna make about a $15 profit on him. Up next, and this took a while to sell. I paid $4.99 for it. Dalton, put your shirt down, please. I paid $4.99 for it. It's like a vintage brass, like 18 inch doll bed. And it sold for $32. Plus shipping, the buyer's actually 82 all in because that is going to be an oversized box. And I did calculated shipping. I thought it would sell faster and I did have it priced higher. I've gradually lowered it, but we're still making about a $23, $24 profit on that. I will probably wrap it in bubble wrap and I have plenty of big boxes that I've saved from Amazon. So that should not be a problem. Up next, this was an a lot of dog clothes. I got really cheap, so I'm less than a dollar in. It's a really cute like corduroy red riding hood little shawl i'm less than a dollar in it sold for 16 dollars plus shipping the buyers 22 all in and we'll make about a 14 dollar profit on that um next is this watch i actually got this belova watch in a shop goodwill lot i'm about ten dollars in but i also paid ten dollars to have my local jewelry store change the battery so i only brought them watches that were worth it and and the, the 80 dollar michael kors watch sold on wednesday and we had a 600 hundred dollar day on wednesday as well so you guys know last week was my slowest week and now this week is doing great we are at about 2200 for the week which is awesome i am completely happy with that this one sold for 63 plus shipping the buyer 72 all in and we'll make about a 45 dollar profit up next is a jacket and it did take a little while to sell i actually got some dust on it from the shed this is windstar cruises it is new with the tag does have a 50 dollar price tag size extra large i only paid about four dollars for this and And it's sold for $30 plus shipping. The buyer is $50 all in. So 
sold exactly for what it originally sold for. Mama, Mama. dude, 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 dude. Um, <laughs> sorry. Up next is actually the highest sale going out today. So, but it doesn't meet that $500 desk, but that's a decent sale. I did pay up. So it is this Yadro ballerina and she sold for $180 plus shipping. The buyer's $220 all in. We'll show you the bottom. Keep an eye out for Yadro. I actually am hoping to strike up a deal with an estate sale company. for a bunch of Yadro. So they have a bunch of Yadro. They have it listed at retail. And I told them that I could not afford to pay retail. So I told them I needed probably 60% off their list prices, but I would take every single Yadro piece they had. They have a lot. It will be a pretty expensive buyout if it happens. And they said they would see what they can do. I also, when we went to the estate sale this morning, there was a table full of QVC and HSN makeup that sells for $50. They again had it priced right at retail. Retail, so, and it was 25% off day, but I don't wanna make 25% in profit. I'm like, do you wanna sell the whole table? And one guy was like, that'd be over 400. I'm like, okay, because <laughs> it's, it's well, well worth it and they sell fast. I am okay with 50% off, but tomorrow's the last day so if they didn't want to make a deal today tomorrow if i do decide to buy it i will expect more than 50 percent off of what they are asking because i will take it all and it will be at the end of the day so i got his phone number i will call him tomorrow and we will see if we can work out something for a bulk qvc hsn all brand new makeup deal and hopefully so because that sells really fast Last time I got it, got it for a dollar a piece. That's not going to happen this time. I'm probably going to pay about 20 on items that sell for 50, but that is okay. Dalton is carrying his ladder around. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, so hopefully we can work out that deal. That Yadro ballerina, I did pay $95 for her, but it's still about an $80 profit. And I am okay with that. It sold in less than three weeks. Up next is Signature Club, which I think is a HSN or QVC as well. This one sold for 13 plus shipping. I'm a dollar into this, so I'll make about a $10 profit. That one did take about six months. Most of the stuff that I found with that, those sold within a couple. Up next. And these just look, so your clogs a lot are worth money. These are patent leather, as you see. I saw they were made in Sweden. When I see stuff made in different companies, I check them out. So. These are Skein to Feln, made in Sweden. They look like they might have been worn like once. They're in very nice condition. I paid $3.99 for these at a little local thrift store. They sold for $35 plus shipping. The buyer is $46 all in. And we will make about a $28 profit on those shoes. Up next are two scarves. I believe they are both unnamed. You can see they have kind of wild, crazy prints. The two together sold for $15.50 plus shipping. The buyer's $22 all in. I'm less than a dollar into those, and we'll make about a $12 profit. Today over on Mercari for $9. It is a vintage upside down strawberry shortcake pillowcase. There is that. And then this little Disney lunchbox i think it's actually like an art kit but it's sold for six plus shipping i'm less than a dollar in buyer is 12 all in and i will make about a four dollar profit on that and it did take about six months to sell this is a really cool law friend case this is a gravy boat i do not have the underplate but this sold for 15 dollars over on facebook marketplace and we'll make about a ten dollar profit that about wraps everything up. Dalton is on the counter weighing himself. Again, don't forget to can sand ends, ends tomorrow night. We found some great stuff today. We really did. Um, we even found some food for fish. <laughs> we found beta food at the thrift store, which was pretty cool. Um, so fish has actual beta food now. And 
I found I found some good stuff. So I again will pack all of this stuff and record a video to show you guys on Sunday. I look forward to seeing you then. And on Tuesday, we will have reseller niche as well as blood sweat sell Leroy along with my co-host Julian. And it should be a great show. I will see you guys in the video on Sunday with an amazing thrift in an antique store haul. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye guys. Dalton say bye. Say bye guys. Good <laughs> turn, dude.